how are you guys today? Uh, oh, uh, I had a little, a little slight problem. There was a problem that we had with uh, Chichale. I was trying to get Chichale to do the summer event because I thought that there was going to be a character that appeared in the story that we haven't seen before. Turns out he's just hanging out on the beach. So if we just avoid that character, we can see the rest of the stuff. So uh, here we go. We're going to have fun on the beach a little bit. So yeah, let's do it. Oh, and we also have a cute little jellyfish uh, minion today because it's summer. Why not? Hitching a ride in the ballast tank of a submersible proved an enlightening experience for this infant wavekin allowing it to listen in on an incessant mumblings of the vessel's pilot, a mammoth voyager tasked with taking an audio log of all discoveries made. Tonight, we will feast on the jellyfish while my jealous fish of a brother drinks in his tears. Nort moan. Who's that guy? Who's that guy? I don't even know. But here we have Aurelia Pollock. He's very cute. Oh, and hey, it's Captain Carvelane. Why does this chill that goes down my spine? Has that icy fiend returned? I'm sure that there was no giant bomb. See, there's no bomb. But why would there be an icy chill? What the? Who? Who? Eh? Roswin? What is this flush I feel all of a sudden? Really? Really? This is this is a reference to a um, a side story that they wrote online, where um, during during the Battle of Cartano, Roswin got caught behind enemy lines during the during like um, Bahamut exploding everything, and Carvalane rode in on a chocobo and saved her, and so now she even though she hates men, she can't she's in love with him. The end. That's the joke. Gods, why does the sun have to be so strong? Lord of Manalane, perhaps we should move into the shade. Oh my gosh, it's a Manalane. And he lives in, in the icy places. He doesn't know how to how heat works. Also, if you go very close, you can see he's wearing shades. What a loser! He's adorable, what a dork. Oh hey. The the fireworks are going off again. Um also, I'm not sure who this is. It's a house for Tom. Uh, night, uh, Captain. Sweet and frosty sucker of the gods, I'm practically melting in here! Captain, b before you eat that... We may have gone a little too far. Nonsense, we deserve a respite for once. I'm not entirely sure who this group is, but, uh... Sorry, I don't know absolutely everything about 14. I know, it's crazy, right? Oh, we got a bunch of people doing squats. Nice. The might of our muscles. We'll blast away the bomb bird mes menace. I'm just saying, they're right over there. Bam! Bam! They're right over there! Go! Go fight them! Oh, crap. And a bunch of ladies. Talk about a tasty and refreshing treat. Oh, hey, and if we're actually in this area, you can see them cheering on the adventurers fighting. You can do it, brother! Yeah, do it! And there's that Viera lady and the, and the Bagu. And then a random generic adventurer just hanging. There they are. Doing some punches. That's very cute. But I'm not going to fight them. All right, all right. So, we gotta do actual story now. <laughs> Look at them cuties! This is what I call a battle. Our heroes! Yeah, we'll let someone else be the heroes for once. Alright, um, but we have stuff we gotta do. Silence in three parts is an authard. In the Ruby Sea! At Isari! So we gotta teleport there. Cha ja cha! Uh, let us go directly, so I don't gotta, like, wander around. Uh, that is in Onokoro. Grrr, gurgle. Yay, they did it! Good job, everyone. I'm out. Yes, I did show, show them, um, Emanolaine and his cute little sunglasses. I said that I wanted to especially do it 
just because of him. Like, 100% I needed to show off a Manalei. There's no way I wouldn't be. Anyway, uh, today we are going to be going as a ninja. Ninja! We can't see it very well. Let me, let me depose. Let's, let's shine some light on the situation. There we go. There she is. We got ourselves a cute little, cute little girl. I even changed her, her hair so that it wouldn't clip through her cute little scarf. So, um, also this hat costs like 900,000 gil, so don't, don't tell me I haven't paid anything for, for, um, for fashion. There you go. All right, let's head to Isari. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. But anyway, I thought it would be good if if Colossa managed to to be a a cute little um to to be a cute uh, ninja girl for now. And we've we've established since a realm were born that she that she has done the ninja stuff. I just haven't actually uh, done the streams for it. So maybe soon I'll do some streams. Cause as as I've said before, I really do love the the mentor for it. According to my map, the plains of Yansha lie to the west of the known as the One River, upon the shores of which Doma was built. This is it. We're finally heading into the heart of Doma. I can't help but be a little nervous. The silence in three parts. Gosh, it's gonna be dark again! Every time! I'm so mad at myself. Why does this game hate me? How, what, what time is it? And it's like right in the middle of the night, too. Gods! You did well. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You did well, Kalosa. Were it not for the tremendous strength and bravery of you and yours, many innocent souls would have suffered terrible fates. Though I knew the Confederacy would be loath to meet the Imperials in battle, I knew that if any could win them over, it would be you. Truly, yours is a heroic spirit that inspires men to rise above their circumstances, to strive for something greater. It will be an honor to travel with you again. Oh, this is a bow. You don't got a bow to me. Now then, let us not squander the Confederacy's gift. Yansha and my countrymen await. There is a tunnel to the southwest. We need but follow it to reach our destination. With me! Did someone give you an influx of money, LV? Nice. What was it? Um, what was it? Mishu was making light of the fact that we that we are being horrible, horrible capitalists, and I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. How are we gonna be fashionistas? There you go. Meanwhile, on the shows, shores of Authord. Hmm? A bunch of treasures and the Kojin. We cannot rest here for long. This place is not safe. Mayhap no worries if thieves can breach our boats. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect these treasures, and we shall not fail for want of effort. So, this is why you abandoned your posts, and without a word of explanation at that. Rather thoughtless of you, was it not? <gasps> Lady Yotsuyo, pray forgive us our absence. But our home was under attack. Our boats plundered by outsiders. Yeah, plundered. We didn't even take anything. What the crap? Did you even pause to consider the possibility that it might be a diversion? 
What is the point of contracting your services if you are not here when they are required? It is my solemn charge to bring these vermin to heal. To torment them, body and soul, until all they hold dear is as bitter ashes in their mouths. And then you go and ruin everything! There's not to be gained in belaboring the point. All that remains is to administer your punishment. Wait, my lady! Mm. No, the treasure! No, no, it's no good. There's just no joy in it. No release. There, there needs to be some investment. Though a negligent imbecile deserving of punishment, but it is hardly personal. Ten thousand such caution could not satisfy me half so well as a single dollar. Ah, uh, you can make a joke about that. Ho uh ho. -huh. A katana. Hmm. And what do we have here? One of the vaunted treasures of the red. The craftsmanship is certainly impressive. Mayhap we can use it to make a No, don't steal this trans the sacred treasures. How long before Lord Xenos reinstates me, do you reckon? I've got unfinished business back in Aeosia. It's serving me really so unbearable. At least pretend to enjoy, you witless lump! <laughs> if you are so desperate to earn a way back to Aeosia, then be quiet and do as you're told. And bring that sword while you're at it. Poor Grinwa just wants to punch me. I love how I have unfinished business, and it's like, don't worry, Grinwa, I'm literally right here. BC onto the coat onto the heart of Authard and Doma. I remember the silence. How the talking stopped when we first set foot on the plains of Yansha. Before us stood yet another wall, and through a great Magitek field we glimpsed Doma Castle. I'll never forget the sight, or the anger I felt that day. Life, liberty, hope, so much lost, so much taken. As we walked through that war-torn land, no one said a word.
Yeah, you, you got some money out of it, but at least you gave someone a cat. That That's the important part. Someone got a cat out of the deal. There's a weariness, a desolation, an emptiness. This place, I, I don't know what I expected. Oof. Can't wait for it to be light again so we can see it in all of its glory. Arg! Game! Yes, this is far enough. Far enough? Ere we proceed further, I should speak of Yansha and what became of her. Of what lies beyond the Great Wall at the heart of Doma. And we should be glad to hear it, but is it wise for us to have this conversation here, on the road, out in the open? Once your caution would be warranted, but no longer. Xenos did not linger after he crushed the rebellion. He appointed Yotsuyu to act in his stead and quit these lands for precious sport. The acting viceroy was no less merciless than her master. Without warning, her men would march into villages and search for radical elements, killing and torturing any who dared resist. And then, as quickly as they had come, they left. Satisfied that the memory of the purges would keep people in line, she relaxed her grip on Yonsha. What need... What need for the leash when the dog is broken? The village of Nabai lies to the west. Though I doubt the Imperials are present, let us proceed with caution. Hmm. I recall there's a guy. Yeah, there's a guy. He's just living out here. The drunken toad was made using pots from an old riverboat. It carried the rice to, used to make alcohol up and down the river. That's where the name comes from. The drunken toad? Is this the drunken toad? It is! It is the drunken toad. So this was made from parts of an old ship, huh? Interesting. Yes, this is totally okay. I should definitely just ride in to town on this. Boing. Do we even have a mount that I could be using? I should have checked beforehand. Do I have any mounts that would be okay? How about this cavalry drake? Training a cavalry drake is a long and arduous process that begins the moment the scale kin hatches. Never allowed to see its mother, the creature is raised solely in the presence of a drake whisperer while being weakened on the weaned on the incendiary glands of aged battle drakes to ensure it is both submissive and deadly. You are a lost kitten that has wandered into the drake's lair, Zagor's teh. Teh! There she is, the humble village of Namai. I can't see anything. There's bushes in the way. I'll look at it later. How delicious her rice. How sweet her persimmons. Too long has it been since I saw her with my very own eyes. And for her mercy, the Imperials appear to be absent. Even if there aren't any soldiers in the village, it would be foolish to simply stride in and announce ourselves. Seems peaceful enough to me. Yeah, there's just little lights going on, but not so bad. Let no man claim that I am reckless. Prudence has ever been my watchword. Close adventure closer, if you would, and confirm that there are no soldiers looking about. Sounds like a plan. Just give me a sec. I forgot where Hyde is, because you never use it in battle. There we go. Looks good. I don't think anyone noticed me, especially Nanohana. No, hey, where'd you come from? I don't see a single Imperial soldier. Sorry, I'll say, but wait, where'd you come from? Were you weren't using your hiding ability? What the crap? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then there is no need to remain hidden. 
Let us go and greet them as friends. I'm going too. Good people of Namai, hearken to me. We come in peace and desire only information to learn of recent events. Huh? What? Uh -huh. Is a general? Lord Gorsetsu. Can't we preserve your right? He lives. Uh-oh. This isn't a warm reception. I say, brothers and sisters, is all to miss? Why do you regard me as one with a wild beast? Why is there fear in your eyes? Why do you tremble so? Ah, but of course. You fear me a vengeful spirit of the dead. Rest assured, nor could be further from the truth. For am I not corporeal? Are my feet not firmly set upon the ground? <laughs> what should we do? If they catch him here, you know what will happen. All the times for him to turn up. Has the old fool lost his mind? What the? information what's going on i know not who you are to speak thus to your elders boy but mine only desire is to be received with the hospitality owed a humble traveler not the fear and trepidation one might afford a wrathful shay what what you going on about actually never mind just come with me now something's weird Hmm. Someone's crying. Who is this boy and where is he taking us? Judging from the reactions of the villagers, it's probably for the best that we left. I do not understand. Was it not clear that we wish to remain a while? Don't know who you think you are, but do you have any idea what would happen to us if we, you, if you were found within our village? Again you address us with unwarranted spite. I have let your impropriety pass until now, but no longer. Who are you, boy, to speak to me thus? Know you not who I am? I am Ise of Namai, a farmer, like my father before me, and his father before him. I wouldn't expect a man like you to know who I am, but I know you. We all do. Lord Kayan's retainer and leader of the rebellion, Gosetsu, notorious fugitive, wanted a dead or alive by the Empire. <gasps> <laughs> Is this what this is all about? I am hardly the first man to earn the ire of the Empire, nor will I be the last. Was it not Namai home to brave and true warriors who fought beneath our banners for king and country? They fought and they died, every last one. And then the Imperials came looking for more because of them. They were this close to killing all of us, to burning our village to the ground. We only just begun to enjoy some semblance of peace. Never again, never again do you understand. We've had enough of you and yours. Whatever it is you're plotting, leave us out of it. Hmm. Impassioned as his pleas may be, surely he must know that I cannot leave things as they are. But for now, I shall respect his wishes. We must continue on towards our final destination, the House of the Fierce, proud headquarters of the Dome and Liberation Front. There is a secret entrance to the north of Namai by way of a small spring. Come, I show you. Mm -hmm. I thought this was absolutely hilarious that 
what uh, Gosetsu literally was saying, like, hey, we know that that Yotsuyu absolutely broke everyone in Yansha, and that's why there aren't any people around. And yet somehow he's so confused. So confused that these people aren't, like, welcoming him. Like, really? Come on! It's so obvious! <sighs> you know what I'll say? And here I was, and here I was, thinking our swimming days were behind us. You never, of course. This way, this way! We must dive into the water! Have no fear, Colossa. It is but a short distance. You need not hold your breath for long. Oh, there he goes. I guess the lease already went on ahead. Oh, I love that they have this little thing so that you can grab it and then pull yourself up. <laughs> Let's sprint through. Which, if I couldn't breathe, it would actually probably be worse because sprinting taxes your body and makes you use more air. Ha 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 ha! How invigorating! Congratulations, my friends! You are come to the House of the Fierce! Hey, Liberation Front Guard. You are Colossa Whisper Song, are you not? We were told of your coming. Heroes of Eosia, we are the Dome and Liberation Front, are honored to receive you. If you would be so kind as to follow me. Wait, who is telling you about us? I mean, Gosetsu just arrived and he was panting. Oh no, the Etherite got broke deed. This is the House of the Fears, but there are so few of them. Many kindred spirits remain in hiding following the rebellion. Many others gave their lives for their nation. Even accounting for our comrades in the field, we are at a fraction of our former strength, tis true. Yet we few are patriots, brothers in arms, prepared to fight with every fiber of our being to set our people free. <laughs> Ever are we hopeful that others will join our cause, but never did I dream that you would journey so far. Wait, you giddy? You giddy? Gods, it's good to see you. You look great, by the way. Have you been here long? You look great, by the way. Oh boy, there's gonna be so many fanfics. In fact, there would be so many fanfics if people, for some reason, didn't absolutely hate Lys with every fiber of their beings. I returned but recently, having concluded my mission. Oh, it is good to see you again, my friends. Did I hear aright? Your mission is concluded? Then you have found the young master. <gasps> Hien? Ere we speak of that, I would know by what fortuitous circumstance our friends came to be here. Mm-hmm. Beta, 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 beta. The Empire's crimes are all too familiar. This, my heart goes out to your people. We wanted to stay and fight, believe me, but we knew it wouldn't work. We needed more time to rebuild and more allies to stand with us against the Empire. So we decided to come here and help you free Doma. To show you, to show everyone that you're not alone. And that the Garleans can be beaten if we work together. I'd like to think we proved that in the Ruby Sea. Heck yeah! That you did, Lise, and far more besides. Needless to say, your assistance would be most welcome. Hear, hear! Now then, Yugiri, you must tell me of your search for our master.
Lest you wonder, he speaks of Lord Hien, son of Lord Kyen, who perished during the rebellion. When it became clear that all hope of victory had gone, Lord Hien bade us deliver as many of our people as we could to safety beyond our borders. But as his father's heir, he was determined to fight on, and so he did. Until he suffered a grievous wound in battle and vanished without a trace. Now, yeah, so everyone thought he was dead. Until now. For I have found Lord Hien, seen and spoken with him, on the Azim step. The step? Oh, boundless and merciful Kami. The young master lives. Tell me, was he well? Did his wound yet ail him? Where is he now? Have you brought him back to us? Yeah, where is he? You may take comfort in the knowledge that he is hale and whole. However, when I invited him to return with me to Doma, he had this to say. If Doma yet thirsts for the blood of patriots and tyrants, I shall offer unto her my blade. But if she has had her fill of bitter draughts, I shall offer unto her conquerors my head. Wait, what? Thrice did I declare to him that no true son or daughter of Doma would ever accept such a sacrifice. But for all my passion, he would not be swayed. Learn the truth of her heart and return to me, he said. And so I left him. He only wants to protect his people. Yet there is wisdom in them all the same. If the people no longer yearn to be free, it would be folly to rekindle the fires of war. And we saw the way that Issei kid and all the people of Namai reacted to Gosetsu. They don't want to go to war. To suffer our master, to surrender his life and forsake all hope of freedom is by far the greater folly. I will not go to face my fallen comrades, having done naught to stop it. Nor I, Shadow Walker, nor I. But we need not rouse our comrades to battle this day. Let us instead welcome our honored guests and allow them a moment of respite. As you can see, they went to great lengths to disable the Aetherite. Apparently, in the twilight days of the Rebellion, they feared that Xenos would be willing to risk sending attitude, unattuned conscripts. That said, it is hardly irreversible. They have the necessary materials. It would be a challenge to repair it alone, but mayhap with my brother's help. I think, yeah, there it is. Oh, So we can get it up and running if we get Alfie here. Hey, it's Subaru. Nice. What's up, Lise? You should hear this, Kalosa. He was just telling me about Xenos and the Rebellion. About? What you have to understand is that it was not a simple matter of numbers. The bulk of this twelfth never even took to the field. It was Xenos' stratagems that won the war. They were unlike anything we had ever seen. His formations were unorthodox, bewildering. We honestly thought we had them on the back foot. One moment we were pressing home our advantage, and the next we were surrounded and at his mercy. And then he stood before us, his cornered prey. Alone and unarmed, he beckoned us to come forward and fight for our lives. One by one, my comrades charged. Fearless and unflinching, he would dance amidst their blades for a time, and then draw close as if to embrace one after another. He made us watch. Do you understand? He made us watch. What kind of monster enjoys killing people? I do not think there was any joy in it, nor justice, nor morality, nor meaning. To him, the weight of one life is no different from that of a thousand. 
A challenge has been issued and was accepted, but on finding us no challenge at all, his objective changed. There were tales of Imperial soldiers being flayed for slaughtering families, for breaking brave men's spirits. Only later did I come to understand why. He did not desire obedience, he desired hate, and men consumed by it. A new battle, a new enemy, a new challenge. The hunt, I am told he called it. A hunt without end. And when all of our best lay dead and broken, he left. He left, muttering that he, we had bored him. But our weapons at least held his interest. For he took a fallen samurai's sword, having grown fond of it. Since that day, he has ever wielded far eastern blades. He is said to be fascinated by ones with storied histories. And so soldiers who seek to curry his favor often present those of defeated enemies as gifts. Yeah, I told you because he's a giant weeb. It's like it's all a game to him. People are suffering, dying, and he's collecting swords. We all feel the same. But my lady, you must understand. On the battlefield, the reasons do not matter. The victor is not the just, but the strong. And the strong become the heroes of the tale. We were not strong enough. It is not sufficient to be right, to be just. Without strength, our path has but one end. It's strength we need, and it's strength we'll get. We can't lose to him again. Yosetsu! Mayhap a brief respite is in order. Were I 20 years younger, these wounds would not warrant a second glance. Alas, no samurai has a strength to defeat that villain old age. But what say you to the House of the Fierce? Compared to your rising stones, I concede it may be somewhat lacking. But it is a haven these past ten years to all who would set Doma free. Regrettably, our efforts in that time have come to little and less. <sighs> when the Emperor died, we were so sure the hour of our liberation was at hand. But Xenos soon put paid to that with the aid of Yotsuyu and the secrets she sold. Yotsuyu was a spy as well? Kalosa. I do hope you have taken this opportunity to rest and recover. Beta, 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 beta. <sighs> it is well that you spoke with one of the survivors of that massacre. To defeat one's foe, one must first understand his true nature. As the Alamigan resistance has struggled, so too has the Doman Liberation Front. More so, perhaps, given the precarious position in which we find ourselves in the wake of our doomed rebellion. We are few and our enemies legion. We are weak and they strong. Yet with your help I believe there is little we cannot achieve. I only hope the depth of our predicament has not shaken your commitment to our cause. Never. Victory will be ours? No, I relish the challenge. Not so long as I can expect a suitably generous reward. What is this chachale chale? Never! I'll never give up! Let's do this! Leave it to me! Aye, that it will. With the hero of Eorzea on our side, we cannot lose. Now then, we should be glad to discuss our next course of action. Oh wait, no. Uh, LV, who could be a match for the hateful Weeb. I don't know, maybe uh, the loving weeb, question mark? Though now that I think of it, I myself have been away from Doma for some time, and even after my return, the search for Lord Hien commanded my full attention. Mayhap it would, it would be to both our benefit if we were to see the reality of Doma for ourselves, or did my lord not bid me learn the truth of her heart? Let us do this together, Colossa. Let us go among the people and with our own eyes bear witness to their hardship. As a foreigner in these lands, your reputation does not precede you. Moreover, unlike Gosetsu, I can accompany you without attracting unwanted attention. I'd like to join you if that's all right. By all means, we should be glad of your company and your perspective. Yeah, let's do this. 
Now Mai is not far. I say we begin there. Mm -hmm. I love that this is an instanced area because you can't even mount can't even mount up in here. Yeah, I see. Uh, later on when this place becomes accessible to everything then you can start flying again. By the way, Gensui Chain. Yeah, yeah, this area, Gensui. Gen, in this case, meaning like origin, and Sui is water. So this is the, the origin of water land. Wow, hello there, Yugiri. Ah, Colossa, I am glad to see you too put thought into your garments, given the covert nature of your activities. Hmm? I should think my reasons obvious. To enter the village while wearing the garb of the shinobi would be beyond the reckless, though you may tempt fate if that is your want. We shall pose as traveling merchants, close as our leader, and we as her assistants. Are there any objections? I'm not really the merchant type, but if you think this is the best way to go about it, I'll trust you. Well, why didn't you tell me this beforehand? Let us begin, without further ado. Ugh, fine. Thank goodness I had this merchant's garb. There we go, gotta get rid of this. So these swords, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Nice, okay, okay. There we go. Now no one will suspect me. Oh, by the way, oh, yay, it's light again. Oh, look at how pretty this place is. Look at these cute little blossoms. Wait, who am I talking to here? There it is. Honami. Weren't you the one who came with the general? No? Huh, I see. My mistake. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of people with these kinds of hats. Drug. It warms my heart to see traveling merchants in Namai again. Though the Imperialists never sealed our borders, folks like you have been uh, taken to avoiding Yansha ever since the rebellion. Unfortunately, that has only made it harder for us to, to survive. You may have noticed, but we lack for a great many things. It was not much better before, true, but it has only gotten worse. Chigusa. You, a merchant? Forgive my skepticism, but you strike me as le strike me less a woman of commerce and more a common cell sword. What are you talking about? Look at my awesome like the, the uh, my awesome merchants uh, thing. It even got a little doma thing on it. I am a hundred percent a merchant. Give your best smile. Yeah. I stand corrected. Such a warm and cordial nature you possess. I pray you forgive me my earlier rudeness. It has been some time since the Viceroy came to our village to purge it of insurgents. Those who resisted suffered terribly, and those who did not fared little better. We remain no better than to risk her ire. If the Imperials demand laborers, we comply. If they demand conscripts to send us soldiers to their provinces, we obey. Ours is a difficult life, with little in the way of luxuries. I know not what you sell, merchant, but I doubt that I, nor anyone else here, can afford it. I love if you give your best impression of Hancock. She's just like, that's actually super creepy, but okay, that does look like a creepy merchant, at least. It's pretty funny. Masatsuchi. Wait a minute! It's a wolf guy! Wait, those are those wolf guys we fought in in uh, Rogers Reach. A traveling merchant with meat, perchance. Bah! Better not to know when I have so little coin. I feel your eyes upon me. You know not the Lupine. Surely you have not been long in Yonchal. You would. 
For generations we served the lords of Doma, compassionate and wise as they were, but the memories of such times fade with each passing day, as others will tell you. Lupin, huh? Perhaps even Lupin the Third. Oh, hey, look, it's it's the rice fields. I love the rice fields in the summer because they look like beautiful um, green um, oceans on a windy day. It's just waves of green. They're so beautiful. Foreign peddlers, in the Mai, whatever it is you sell, I have no money to buy. Perhaps you should go elsewhere. Saying that, I know of no village in Yansha that has fared any better. Once I would have directed you to the samurai lords of Monzen. Had they not all but died in battle or in the purges. There is the Dolmen Enclave, of course, but that lies beyond the Daidu Moon Gates. Needless to say, the Imperials are disinclined to let any but their own pass. Hmm. Dolmen Enclave, huh? I guess they wouldn't want anyone like the liberation people to come by. So, you giddy, what do you think? What do you think, Lise? I've seen those looks before. Same weary hopelessness. It's just like Alagana. Kalusa, what have you learned? Everyone, everything is terrible and everyone hates themselves. Lisa and I encountered much the same. They have been pushed beyond the brink. I expected frustration and disillusionment, but not so much that they would come to question the wisdom of opposing Imperial Lur in the first place. Unless we can convince them otherwise, I feared I cannot convince Lord Hien to return, and without him... Yeah, no rebellion. Let us not lose hope. Though the situation in Amai is bleak, mayhap it is not so elsewhere. I wish to speak with others outside the village. Lisa and I will look for farmers in the paddies to the east. Kalosa, I ask that you look to the south. Surely they cannot have all given in to despair. Yeah, let's just ride around on a Magitech uh, thing. Surely this will be fine. Boing. Oh no, there's a little girl! And she's surrounded by an enemy! I'm so Japanese. Yeah. Ninja powers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you hadn't come along, I don't know what I would have done. What are you doing out here all alone, little girl? Getting attacked by caterpillars? What am I doing out here? Oh, looking for flowers. I need some for my parents' graves. The one my brother and I usually bring are yellow because Utu was my mother's favorite color. You haven't seen any, have you? Aw, oh, jeez. Kid, this is dangerous out here. Uh, I should probably look for some yellow flowers so the kid doesn't get eaten by a rhino beetle. Uh, golden carnation. Nice. I got you your flowers, little girl. Only yellow ones will do. Mother wouldn't have wanted anything else. And picked by you. Here you are. Ah, you found some. Thank you so much, miss. That's twice you've saved me now. 
If you have time to spare, maybe you could come with me. I'm sure mother and father would want to meet the woman who showed me such kindness. We buried them on a cl cliff to the west of the village. There's a path through the terraces. I'll show you. That's not how you show people. You don't show them by running off and then disappearing. Ah. Oh, by the way, this is the polar bear from the thing, from the event. And then you can even do this. Yay! Very cute. So yeah, if you want to get up here, she said there's a path through the terraces. So you go up this way, over here, do, follow the switch back, and then you keep going. moment to put down the flowers and I'll introduce you. Bow. They love to meet travelers and hear tales of far away places. Maybe you could tell them one about your homeland. Sure, why not? Azami? Azami, are you there? Azami! The Issei! What in the... You should not be here! Get away from my sister! Don't be so rude. She saved me from monsters, brother. She even helped me pick flowers for mother and father. Go back to the village. Now. You're scaring me. I said go. Stay inside and lock the door until I return. Go. What do you want? Don't think me ungrateful. My sister's the only family I have. And if you saved her, then thank you. But it changes nothing. I asked you to leave, and now I'm asking you again. I'm not going to report you to the Imperials, or anything stupid like that. But it's too dangerous for you to stay here. So please, I'm begging you, just leave us alone. She said your parents were buried here. She told you, did she? Yeah, that's right. My mother and father believed in the rebellion. They went to fight for Lord Kyan. They came home in a cart driven by Imperial soldiers. The soldiers demanded that the families of the insurgents present themselves, or else they'd burn the whole village to the ground. So we did. What choice did we have? They beat us in the village square with their hands, with sticks, with anything. They kicked us while we lay on the ground begging for mercy. They made us denounce of my mother and father, call them fools, call them traitors, say they deserve to die. I heard them laugh, but I dared not look up. One leaned close and whispered in my ear what he'd do to my sister if they had to come back. They're gone, but they're never far. All it takes is the wrong word and the wrong ear, and they'll return. And then I'll have to dig another grave. If I'm lucky. Whatever you came here to do, leave us out of it. If you want to fight the Imperials, go and fight them on your own. You can't help us. No one can. This is all we've got. So please, don't take it from us. I wonder, I really wonder if this is why a lot of people didn't really enjoy the this part of, of Stormblood because a lot of people were like well I like the Azim step but Doma no no I don't like the Doma part and I'm sitting here wondering I'm honestly wondering if they're if they just didn't like the fact that there's a lot of this stuff going on especially the, the line about what they would do to his sister uh and what I'm wondering, because a lot of people don't don't like this kind of stuff, this kind of storytelling. They, a lot of people have been much preferring more ha uh, happier stories or stories with uh, that are well, it's fantasy, so it should be sweeter, it should be nicer. But on the other hand, this Japan is trying to show what happened with the imperial conquest of Korea and China and other places. In this way, they're showing their past and what 
they ended up doing. And I think this is a very good thing for them to work to show. This is something that we need to see. This is stuff that happened in our past, and we need to consider that. We can't just say, well, I wanted a fantasy game where nothing bad happens, and it's like the game is literally about fighting an evil, an evil enemy. And you think that they're not going to show why this enemy is evil? We... <laughs> There's, there's time enough for black and white stories, and right now we need to show why these people are terrible and why we need to stop them. And it's, mm, there you go, that's my feeling, that's my thoughts on Doma, and that's my thoughts on why this is just as important to have than than what people are saying. It's not It's not useful, it's not good, the story's bad, it should just not even be part of it. It wouldn't even change if it was removed. And it's just, mm, and I, d d bad, it's, they're just, they have bad opinions, I'm sorry. You all come at a good time, Colossa. We've both recently completed our inquiries. What of yours? Well, I just found out that these guys are really scared about getting murdered. I was not aware of these events. The boy, Ise, he told you all of this? Such disgraceful, despicable crimes. If I knew the men were responsible, I would not hesitate to hunt them down and... <sighs> Forgive me, that outburst was unbecoming. The more I learn of the Imperials' actions in my absence, the more difficult I find it to marshal my emotions. Could Lord Hian have foreseen this, that our people's spirits would be broken so? Though at first I scoffed at his pronouncement, it all feels too possible now that he might resolve to surrender himself. What are we gonna do? There's gotta be something we can do, right? We can't just give up and go home, not after everything we've been through. Hmm. Despite everything we have seen and learned, I refuse to renounce this cause. We should return to the House of the Fierce and consult our comrades. Perhaps together we might... What? Do you hear that? Quickly, we must find a place to hide. Huh? What? What did, what did I hear? I didn't hear anything. Uh, uh, over here? Are we hiding? Is someone coming? I didn't hear anything. Behind me, Kalosa. They come from the south. The south? We haven't been that way before. Town meeting? Imperials. Uh, perfect. This is voice. I'm gonna put this on auto scroll. I need to go do something. I'll be right back. I love you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> milling about like a pack of slack-sword mongrels. Form a line! Now! Finally. I come before you today to deliver an announcement of the highest import. So listen well. While on a charitable mission to Isari village, the acting Viceroy and her personal guard came under attack from Confederate forces. This brazen, unconscionable act cannot and will not go unanswered. As loyal subjects of the Empire who enjoy her safety and prosperity, you have a duty to defend her as well.
There is no cause for alarm. We have no intention of sending ill-trained fodder to the front line. Those who are selected will be expected to perform rudimentary tasks, cleaning and maintenance and so forth. You will serve only as long as you are needed. Afterwards, you'll be free to return to your home. You, you first. The Empire has no pressing need of cleaners. This is but a thinly veiled attempt to intimidate those who supported the Confederacy's actions and isolate any whose loyalty they already suspect. And lastly, you. That should suffice for now. Don't worry, I will be back before you know it. Listen to the elders while I'm away and do not play outside the village. Everything is going to be fine. I love you, all right? Remember that I love you. Oh, Issei! Oh, ho, ho. Azami. We thank you for your cooperation. Rest assured that this will all be over very soon, once the Confederacy has been made to pay our own ruby tithe. Auto advance is done. I'm back. Oh no. There's no telling what might happen to those people. We have to help them. We have to save them. And we shall. But before all else, we must needs ascertain their destination. I doubt this is the first village the Garleans have visited. Nor is it like to be the last. I will track these men. Will you help me? You don't even need to ask. Pray return to our headquarters and tell the others what you saw here. Should we have need of reinforcements, I would know that they are ready. But I should be going with you. I came here to fight. Soon enough, Lise. Soon enough. For now, we must proceed with caution. We're the ones who are, have lighter steps, Lise. I, I, I love you, but this isn't going to help right now. I know that, I do. It's just, when I saw them rounding those people up. Look, if anything happens, anything at all, you'd better call for us. I mean it, Yugiri. Anything at all. Of course. Mm-hmm. Regardless of what the officer claimed, I fear they have cruel designs for those people. With me, Kalosa, we must hurry. Don't have to tell me twice. Oh yes, let's fly off with on a void set. Surely no one will take offense to that. Given the circumstances, we must make every effort to refrain from needless violence. What's this? Here, it is a shinobi's tool for when a more discreet approach is required. Use it with these dots. They are coated with an alchemical reagent that induces a deep sleep. There are soldiers patrolling ahead. Were circumstances different, we could engage them directly, but for the villagers' sake, we dare not risk it. We will use our blowguns to incapacitate them. For a shinobi such as you, this should prove no challenge. Nevertheless, practice is in order. Hey, this is a new type of minigame that some uh, quests go into nowadays. There, the soldier on the hill below. Take aim and fire. If the dot finds its mark, you should fall within moments. 
Search your surroundings for the Imperial soldier. You may move the camera as well as zoom in and out. Target the soldier and use the blowgun with the flick button. Booyaka! Hey, Alteron! Welcome back! Uh, he was on the hill, right? Oh, there he is. And then you just click, and you're done. Easy. Well done, my friend. Now, give me your map. There is a vintage point from which you may observe and fire upon the other soldiers. Worry not, I shall be with you every step of the way, keeping watch for other patrols. We shall speak again on the other side of the river. <laughs> Snake! This is a sneaking mission. Exactly. I wonder if Colossa means something like lily or or like or like um bat or something that would be like name i never thought about it okay so this is annoying it's really hard to find it's kind of hard to find these people i can see four but i'm not oh wait there's the fifth okay so, so, last time I did this on Chachale, I was like, where is everyone? I don't even know. But now, okay, there's one. I think, yeah, there's one here. Yeah, yeah, so one here by this place, one here by the docks, one here in front of the stairs. One here ne uh, next to the stairs, and then one on top of the stairs. Especially since it's night, it's really hard to see these jerks. Get out of here, at jerks. I almost said a bad word. Oopsie. The last Imperial soldier crumples to the ground asleep. You put away your blowgun and prepare to rejoin Yugidi. <laughs> Right over the one river. Wow. And look at all those Magitech fields. And look at that. I think that's a castrum. Oof. Yugiri, what's up? Excellent work, Kalosa. They appear to be none the wiser. The villagers are being held in the castrum to the south. Fluminous. Once it was the base of operations for the Gallian occupation, until ten or so years ago when they relocated to Vilma Castle. Now the castrum serves as little more than a storage facility. I spy two centuries near the gate. As you have proven yourself to have impeccable aim, I should ask you to incapacitate them. This very hill should afford you a clear shot. Alright. Up on the hill. Up on the hilltop, Coloso runs. Time to shoot people with a sleeping dart. Interestingly, Colosa means porous in Spanish, apparently. Okay. Porous, this is a sleeping mission. There goes one, and this guy's like, huh? What was that? Look, it is! And this guy's like, what just happened? And then you just smack him. And then you gotta, like, stuff him in a locker somewhere. And then you gotta crawl under a box. Exactly. Yeah, exactly! The little, the uh, exclamation point. The two centuries slumber side by side. No others appear to be forthcoming. Fine work, Colossa. Oboro would be proud. The way is clear. Let us move closer and see what has become of the villagers. Oboro! Oh boy! Oboro is the is the mentor who I absolutely adore. He's so adorable. I love him. So eventually we'll, we'll eventually you guys will see it. Oh, Yugiri was the one who stuffed them in a locker. Thanks, Yugiri. Hmm. <gasps> the villagers! Sir, the An from the other villagers have assembled for inspection. Very good. I will address them personally. 
Attention! Shortly, you all will be transported to the facility on the distant shore. Your duties, as you have been previously informed, will be rudimentary in nature. More specifically, you will be tasked with the repair and maintenance of various arms and armaments, as well as Magitech devices. Magitech? But we're farmers! We don't know the first thing about Magitech! It'd take us months, if not years, to learn that kind of work! The material in question was damaged when your kith and kin rose up in rebellion. Therefore, you bear responsibility for its repair. If you cannot perform your duties, you will learn how. And if you cannot learn how, then your villages may find themselves at the mercy of the Confederacy and other radical elements. Is that what you want? Urgh. Deal with this rabble. I am needed at the castle. Sir! Move along! This is no temporary measure. Those men and women will die in servitude. <sighs> Once they are taken to the other facility, it will be too late. If we are to intervene, we must do so now. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Then let us be about it. Yugiri is in her element. Despite the urgency of the situation, we must still proceed with the utmost caution to ensure the safety of the villagers. To wit, we must infiltrate the custom without raising the alarm. I will deal with any soldiers near the entrance. Stand the watch for others approaching from the north until you hear my signal. Alright, sounds like a plan. So you spy no Imperial patrols bound for the castrum. A hawk's cry pierces the silence. Yugidi is waiting. Oh yeah, this won't stick out like a sore throat. Thanks, Maggie. Stocky soldier, spindly soldier, and strapping soldier. Hey! <laughs> If you're a Lalafell, you need this one. If you're a Rogadin, you need this one. If you're Kalosa, you need this one. <laughs> Speak softly, lest the others hear us. What of the outside? No patrols. That is good. We may proceed as planned. These ones shall not soon wake. However, the others are too close to the villagers. Incapacitating them as I did these ones is far too risky. Fortunately, a solution presents itself. I would have you disguise yourself as an Imperial soldier and convince them that a changing of the guard is in order. You have your pick of uniforms. They shall not protest. Oh no! I just realized! I'm gonna need the gear! Ah, I think it's hiding away in my armory! No! You've chosen the one to your liking, then. I shall hide these ones where none will find them. Arg! I totally forgot! Elvi, stop laughing at me! I got everything else ready! There were like five things I was doing to get ready for this stupid thing! A sleeping beauties have been laid to rest in their bunks. Oh, and while I was in the barracks, I happened upon these spare uniforms, in case the items in your possession are not to your liking. Okay, they, they gave us the ones that I'm missing, but I need the others now. Oh no, okay, they gave us they gave me all of it. Okay, thank goodness. Shoo! Oh thank goodness. Oh, thank you, game. I'm so happy. Maybe I already got rid of all of these at some point. There we go. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. Here we go. Fun fact, um, I'm pretty sure um, I actually use this, the Hakama, the, um, the trousers. I use the trousers for, um, for my summoner outfit, I think. And I think 
Rian actually likes the top, so Rian's like normal wear is that one. Anyway, slash Imperial Salute. I'm, why can't it just be I Salute? No, it has to be Imperial, or even Imp Salute. Yeah, the top is pretty good. I, I agree. So Rian, Rian would use it back, back in the day. Changing of the guard, is it? Well, bloody time. I was looking at these on and it's just making me depressed. Reminds me of when I was in their shoes, pissing myself in fear. Hmm. He's been, and yet he doesn't even care. He doesn't even care. Oops, no space. Two guards? More like one guard, am I right? Is it time already? Not that I'm complaining, mine, but I thought the others would be gone longer. Yeah. Phew! Thank goodness! <laughs> Alteron. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. Hello, Mr. Doggy. Oh no. Hello, Mr. Doggy. Shh. Don't tell anyone I'm here. I'm pretty sure, though. Actually, I'm not entirely sure. Ha! Knocked him out. Good job, Yugiri. These ones shall sleep soundly among the others. And with that, there are the nobles, so just to trouble us, you can dispose of that accursed uniform, too. It's time to guide the villagers to freedom. Sounds like a plan. Uh, thank goodness. Back in my shinobi outfit. Hey, I can wear this without accidentally upskirting. Nice! It's been a while since I actually wore pants. Jeez. What the? Where did you come from, you giddy? Everyone's just staring. Listen to me, all of you. We have dealt with the Imperials for now, but you must flee this place quickly. Dealt with them? Oh no. You didn't kill them, did you? Are you mad? There's no escaping the Empire. Running will only make it worse. <gasps> to stay is to die. You know this to be true. Even if you lack the will to fight, surely you have the will to live! Or has that, too, been beaten out of you? Is this what has become of Doma? Yugiri hasn't even figured out that this is because they don't want their families to die. That's the- that's the takeaway. You were Lord Heon's retainer, trained to fight without fear and obey without question. Well, we're not. We're lost and afraid. We hate this, all of this, but we can't do a damn thing to change it. And trying will only make it worse. It's a pathetic existence, but it's all we've got. And when people like you come here pretending it can be different, it, it doesn't help, all right? Huh? Peace, boy. Peace. She came to help, and for that we should be grateful. Elder, your face. We all have scars. Some too many to bear. Too many battles. Too much lost, our friends, our family, even our liege. We who survived are forced to bend the knee, to sell our souls and surrender our dignity. How are we to lift our heads when this shame weighs so heavily upon us? Your courage, your resolve, they are assault in our wounds. They only knew 
only knew what you would do for them, my lord. You have made your plight clear, and I shall impose my will no more. But know this, brothers and sisters of Doma. For all you have suffered, for all the horror and the ignominy, you are still here. You are still alive. My lord, my lord prays you value your life as highly as he does. As for me, I swear by all the Kami in creation that I will free you from this torment, no matter the cost. If the Imperials come for me, I will tell them we were tricked by an Ori woman. Tell them whatever you must to keep your loved ones safe. Ask the buck. Everyone leaves except Ise. Why would you... after everything? Go, kid. Get out of here. Kitty? Not even gonna ask, because I know the answer. <laughs> Get out of here, you scallywags! Come on, you giddy. We have to get out of here. Apologies, Colossa. I was lost in thought. Mayhap they have the right of it. Mayhap we are fools for urging them to rise up once more. Yet I believe, I have to believe, that in their heart of hearts they, they still... Now is not the time. We must finish what we started. I have in my possession a powerful medicine that befuddles the mind and memories. We must administer it to the soldiers ere they wake. The medicine will leave the soldiers confused and unable to clearly recall recent events. They will suspect that they fell asleep at their post and be reluctant to discuss it with others. It is not more than a temporary measure, but we dare not kill them for the sake of the villagers. Tend to the last two while I... The last two I put to sleep. I shall see to the others. Sounds like a plan. All right, Jadalyn, you ready to help me out here? Ugh. Let's load this guy up on your back. Ugh, jeez, this guy's heavy. There we go, come on, this way. Fun fact, if you don't wanna get caught by this dog here, you can jump over this fence. Temple tap. Hey. Here we go, let's drop him here, Jadalyn. Good girl. Yugiri's medicine. The contents of the pouch are a mystery, but you may be assured that their efficacy in befuddling the mind and memories of hapless Imperial soldiers. <laughs> Is that you? Good girl, Jadalyn. Just one more. This one's a little harder. You, you kind of have to just watch that dog and, and, uh, and double back if you have to. But you can slide in behind this building to avoid most of the enemies. This guy, you'll probably alert though if he turns around right at the wrong time. There you go, secrets. But once you're finished with this, then you can just leave and then like, you can just mount up and run out. 
want to go home. Oh, this must be that guy who was, who was talking about how scared he was when he first had started. Maybe he really did. Maybe he really did feel sorry and wished he could help. Oh, uh, you get it! There you are. Forgive me for making you search. No, it's okay. That's ninjas, right? No worries. It calms me, the sound. It helps me to remember the sway of the ocean when I close my eyes. Despite the many great and noble things I said, in truth, I am not of Doma. I was born beneath the waves of the Ruby Sea. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we never told you that we kind of... <laughs> Actually, I went down to the sea and met your parents. To think that you were there, that you even spoke with my mother and father. Yeah, they said they always are thinking about you. They are in good health, then. The knowledge is of great comfort to me. That I might have the strength to protect my home from the Empire, I left to learn the secrets of the Shinobi. Day and night we trained, ever striving to exceed our mental and physical limits. After a time, my skills were recognized, and I was dispatched to assist the Doman Liberation Front. It was then that I met Lord Kayan and his son, and their loyal samurai, Gosetsu. Good men all, brave and true, so clear their eyes, so pure their purpose. Any shinobi would have been proud to serve them and Doma. But, in the end, I will always be of the sea. Oh. It's so hard. It's easy to get homesick after all that time. Every day, I pray for my home and for the people I left behind. That they might be spared the wages of war and live in peace, untouched by this madness. I confessed this to Lord Hien once. Do you know what he said to me? Uh, what did he say? He said, good. We are better for the conviction of our allies and draw inspiration from their example. What is weak alone may together grow stronger. It's together strong. Never did I lose faith in them. Even when all was lost and I led our people to Eorzea, I clung to the belief that our dream would one day be realized. And it will be, I promise. But when I gazed into those eyes bereft of hope, when those broken men balked at liberty, the dream was shattered. You will not always be so. We'll find a way to turn them around. Even if it means destroying the entire army with just the two of us. So I pray, and thus do I labor to see a new day dawn, regardless of my misgivings. When all is said and done, we can but carry on, together. Yeah.
What the? An airship coming from An the imperial ca airship from the Castro? It is bound for Doma Castle. Quickly, we must rejoin the others. Who could it be? What is it carrying? Yeah, apes together is strong, yes! Can I just teleport directly there? I would laugh if I can, even though technically we're not supposed to. I just don't want to walk. I don't want to go into the water. Uh... Oh, okay. So I think I need to leave and then I need to re enter. <laughs> Let's see if that works. Yeah, there she is! Hey! <laughs> Don't tell anyone that I cheated! Come, come. We must tell the others of the airship or hear what they know of it. I'm sorry I interrupted your cutscene watching back then, Alteron. Now you can see it! For reals! There you are. What happened? Are the villagers alright? We freed them, along with many others. Kosetsu, we spied an airship bound for the castle. Know you aught of it? Aye, that we do. The Crown Prince is come to Doma. Xenos? We, we came here because we didn't want Xenos here. We, we were going to stop him while Xenos was busy in Alamigo. She we suspect this is a result of recent events in Girabania. Our defeat notwithstanding, there appears to be some concern in Garlemald that subversive elements may be rallying in other provinces. Oh, jeez. Though Yotayu governs Dome, Xenos remains the province's anointed viceroy, and it would seem he has come to assess the current situation in person. Ah. If Xenos is here, we must seize this opportunity and kill him. Alteron. Crown Prince? More like Clown Prince! Got him! She's just got him! Would that it were so simple, Lady Yugiri. You may recall that we encountered Xenos at Rolga's Reach. We have seen firsthand what he can do. His power defies explanation. He faced the Alliance, the Resistance, and the Scions, and he defeated us all. Oh, at least. We survived and learned from the experience, it is true. But if we are to defeat him, it will not be through simple opportunism. We will require a flawless plan. He's apparently a really good tactician, yeah. So we have to have something that's just so good that not even he can beat. We know his strengths. A prodigious swordsman trained from childhood by the finest Imperial tutors, reputed to be without equal on the battlefield, which is why we must not meet him there. Are you thinking we're gonna do the shinobi thing? Or we just, do, like, like, assassinate him? Slit his throat? Nay, we keep to the shadows, the domain of the shinobi, and thence we strike. You need only give me the chance. Were this but a matter of personal revenge, I would not presume to bar your path, for I myself crave that same vengeance. But to draw steel against the Emperor's son is a grave decision, and one that will shape our nation's future. Do not forget Lord Hien's words. That's true. Hien did say if the people don't want a war, if we kill the crown prince, then everyone in Doma is going to be annihilated. Like, they will raise the country to the ground. What, that we should sheathe our swords if the people lack the will to fight? I will not squander this opportunity. If we do naught, our master's life is forfeit. You giddy? Even should you succeed, Xenos' death will not win Doma her freedom. More likely, her doom. Can we defend our people against the Empire's retribution? We few against a legion? Do not be a fool, child! 
Giri. Mayhap I am a fool with foolish dreams of a future that will never be. But I cannot, I will not forsake them! You hear it, wait! What now? Ah. <sighs> All warriors must choose their own path, as Gosetsu well knows. I will not pursue her. It is for her to think on our master's words and recognize the futility of her course. Th those, at least, are my thoughts upon the matter. Yours may be different. Should you wish to give chase, I will not bar your path. We each have but one life. It is not to be spent recklessly in pursuit of our goals. I pray she realizes this soon. Oh, jeez. I think, though... Yeah, see, this is actually not the right place. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is. She's near Namai, so I'll just head there. Report to Namai? Yes. Oh, also Seabrook was calling this the Coca-Cola bear, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I mean, yeah, because they, they usually have a polar bear on their Christmas commercials, but still, it's super cute. We could call it the Coke bear. <laughs> hey, to avoid copyright infringement, and then it would be a joke as well. Get it because it's white, like cocaine. <laughs> okay, never mind, we're done. Oh, Eugenia's sending off a hawk, a messenger hawk. Did so Gosetsu send you to stop me? No. Then you come of your own free will. I should be surprised if you agreed with my chosen course. No one else did. But it is not as fanciful as they would have you believe. Scant moments ago, I received the prince, the crown prince's itinerary from one of our spies in the castle. It would seem that Xenos has no desire to remain in Doma any longer than necessary. He wishes to inspect the moon gates this very eve. His impatience is to our advantage. He arrived without warning and gave Yotsuyu no time to prepare. The whole castle is in a state of upheaval. To avoid any delay, he has declined a full escort and will be traveling with no more than a handful of soldiers. The Kami could not have blessed us with the more auspicious circumstances. I will kill him, Kalosa. I will. You mean, or, or you mean we will kill him, or not alone. I'll be there. I know the odds. I know what he is capable of and that in an open confrontation I will likely die. But if I do not... If I succeed, then countless lives will be saved. Doma, al amigo, everything will change. One life for that world is a price I would pay a thousand times over. What? What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? And then they made out. Every fanfic. Do you mean to join me? Let's do this. Thank you. Thank you. I cannot well express what this means to me. We have much to discuss, but we can do so on the way. Yu Yuzuko Manor is some distance from here. We must hurry. Bird. Yeah, it was a just bird. Oh wait, key! <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. It's it's zooming in on Issei! Stay calm. No one knows you were here. No one knows you saw anything. No one knows you overheard overheard two rebels plotting to kill the crown prince. <sighs> Stupid, stupid, stupid! You know how this ends! And they only have themselves to blame! You have to tell them, you have to! You say... Oh no... Oh no! I heard that key. You can go out this way. 
Oh, look here. These are the old ways to, um, when you, when you have like a water, uh, thing, you, you can use these, they use these to, to plug up and dam the things, but like if it starts overflowing, you can lift up these slats and then let the water run out. See, and then here's some more. This is a, a way a lot of people did terrace, um, farming on their, um, rice fields. In fact, I won't, I would bet money that these were, these are, these were rice fields back when Yansha was larger and the, uh, like everyone in Doma like lived in various villages. But now that no one lives out here anymore, too bad. There's so many keys. I've been hearing lots of keys. Also, it's time. What was it, Yuzuka? What was it, Yuzuka Manor? Yes! Yuzuka Manor was, they, they mention it in, in um, side quests and stuff. It was the, the realm of a great lord, one of the greatest lords under Lord Kayan. But and then the Namazu were the um, were their retainers, and they all have little um little catfish bells because they're catfish, so they have cat bells around their necks, and they love their bells because that that reminds them of their um their king, their lord. You need to worry for your safety within these walls. No, no, the Namazu here are civilized. We would never attack men. There you go. And also, also Namazu get drunk off of tea, but they always want to drink it because the Domans drank it. These fools are off hiding again, drowning themselves in tea. And after I've told them many times not to, all Namazu know that stuff is for drunkards and mummers. <laughs> I love the Namazu. I'm still waiting for the the children's book to get translated. I am buying the crap out of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. Oh man, I'm so excited for when they finally decide to to release it. I'll have I'll even write on Jadalyn over. There we go. I thought it was gonna be over in that way, but no, we had to go all the way over here for some reason. What's up, you giddy? This is far enough. Let's discuss our plan of attack. Indeed. Yugi has made you giddy has made her choice, and so have you. Xenos's itinerary is as follows. You will depart Doma Castle by ship and arrive then approach the moon gates. The magic tech field will be deactivated briefly, allowing his vessel to pass. It will then continue on to these very docks, where he and his entourage will disembark. As you can see, the area is not ideal for an ambush. Wide open, multiple avenues of escape. The manor is better suited to our needs. Let us split up and search for suitable hiding places. Indeed. Let's go. Oh, and also, bye, Fang. <gasps> These birds, these birds are bys. These birds are by. Bir you might even say they are by birds. Do you, do you, do you get it? Surrounded by walls and deserted, this location appears to be ideal for concealment. Yeah, we can hide out here. I'm like 90% sure we end up on a wall on the roof anyway. Ah, there you are. Hmm. From the roof, we would have a clear view of the docks. I told you! It is settled. We shall lie and wait here until Denos arrives. As discussed, if all goes according to plan, he shall fall within my first blow. If not, then the two of us will have to engage him in open combat. His escort is of no consequence, which means that we will have a two-to-one advantage. Nevertheless, he is not to be underestimated. Don't worry. I've been practicing my ninjutsu. Choo-choo-choo! I trust that you are ready. I'm level 66 for this. What do I get at 66? I have assassinate. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't have Bavaka... 
Kakura. Darn. Oh well. That's fine, that's fine. And then, oh, I get enhanced mug at that level. Woo! Ninky gauge is okay, but if without Baka Kavra, it's not even all that much of a thing. Oh, I'm glad LV snurked at my joke. Yes! That's all I need. Hiding on the roof. Oh, yeah. He comes. Hot. Sorry, I just, I couldn't help myself. Let's do this. The village is not far, my lord. If it please you, we shall escort you there directly. Tea notes. Hmm, there's a province than a graveyard. The rotting husk of a broken nation devoid of proper sport. Ah, but as his radiance wishes... Yes, of course, my lord. I, 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 and may I say how terribly sorry we are that you had to come so far. <laughs> Silence. We labored long to sow the seeds of hatred, of fear, to train them as beasts. Now we shall see the harvest. Let there be savage beasts baying for blood, and not hollow-eyed prey cowering in the dark, or there will be no joy in this hunt. Zenos wants them to fight back. So, Yotsuyu is just a terrible viceroy then for Zenos. One strike. Taking out the retinue one by one. Yukiri! Ambush! Shinobi? And me without my brute. How weak you are. Is this the sum of your hate? This is only the beginning. For Lord Kyed! For Doma! Ah! Hello, Sud! You're surrounded! Mayhap, I shall test this new blade of yours. Let us hope it is to my liking, lest your misfortunes compound. Then again, I am loath to expend such effort on the unworthy. Come, earn the honor. Don't mind if I do! reading sorry <laughs> what are you doing you fools there's only two of them first you must kill my men you can't do that can you 
How much longer will you make me wait? Oh man, we've got weird shooty spouts. Oh, I better stay away from those. I'll grant you that, but not good enough. This ends now. I see. Ah! Cutscene. Yeah, I'm gonna talk about that in just a bit, LV. Uh, I'll mention that. Yukiri. Ah, I remember you, Alamigo, the champion of the savages. <sighs> Look ye where the sun doth rise, see crimson embers darkening skies. Is that... Look ye where the sun doth fall, see azure lost amidst the squall. No. managed to break off the horn on his helmet. <gasps> his helmet. Oh, how right I was to spare your life. He's looking at the horn on the helmet. <laughs> Oh no! Kalosa just looks at him and everyone's thinking, oh no, he's hot? No, no. Oh no, he's an anime. Ugh. No wonder he's a weeb. Seconds live for the sole pleasure left me in this empty ephemeral world. Live, what? 
What are you talking about? You giddy? Yeah! You giddy? You are not worthy. No, no, you giddy! An arrow? Don't. You must. You must flee. We're not going anywhere. Do you hear me? We're not running away. What you're doing is stupid and reckless, and I never wanted any part of it. But here we are. I've spent my whole life hating myself. For every time they made me beg. For every time I held my tongue to protect the people I love. And then you came along and reminded me of all the things I never said and never did, and it was even worse. I would have given anything to forget, to walk away. But I knew I'd never be able to live with the guilt. So we came, all of us, for you, for ourselves, for Dorma. Good Dorma, by the way. <laughs> oh, the wiggly eyes, the tears. Death is death, regardless of the reason. Yet you seem determined to die, intruding upon this sacred ground, having weapons you can scarcely wield upon me. Your lives will not even begin to address the balance. Xenos! How wrong you are! <gasps> Alice? <gasps> A heel! See to you, Giri. <gasps> smoke bombed. Hi. Uh, smoke bombs are actually really terrible in a rain. <sighs> I can't see a damn thing. Someone stop them! It, the rain will just immediately wet and all of the whatever. Zenos <laughs> is like, nah. My lord. I'm bored. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I wanted to talk about this. LV was mentioning, like, I liked this introduction to Xenos. And, like, I, like, 100% totally agree. So many people were like, Xenos is a terrible villain. Xenos is super bad. And it was like, well, Xenos is a good, like, especially since a lot of the times everyone was like oh the warrior of light is so perfect warrior of light can do no wrong warrior of light always has to do everything no one else can do anything and so finally they're like well why don't we just give the give the players a villain who can defeat them so that there's something to like work towards and then everyone got angry oh xenos is a bad villain he just uh, forces you to lose yeah, I could have totally defeated him given the time. He has too much health, blah, blah, blah. And, like, I was like, yeah, kind of. But, number one, they can't just make him difficult. It's not like you guys are savage players. They, you, just because you can beat a savage enemy doesn't mean that normal people who are playing the MSQ d need to be immediately bodied by someone. Okay, fine sometimes you've got to give yourself a little bit of like to, like just to hold back a bit especially since the first time you fight him you don't actually know his ability so like maybe he does have like a super attack that knocks you over and people are like well what about the second time you should know that his attack that knocks you back and it's like yeah except he used a magical sacred weapon that made him stronger so, like, there's all of this stuff here that people are like, Oh, it's, it's not help. The, the, Xenos is really bad. The story is bad. Everything's bad. But really, is really not that, like, terrible. Xenos is just a guy who we're supposed to defeat because he's difficult. And 
yeah, he's difficult now, and yeah, I had no problem with him because I'm good at the game, but you can bet money that there are people who are not so good at the game who still need to get past it. And complaining that a, something that's supposed to be difficult isn't in the main story is disingenuous. It's really dumb. It's, it's all right. Here, have some water. Ugh. You get eat. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness you're not dead. Tis not that will not heal with time. Especially with Alice on hand. I didn't think we were followed. Gods, I had no idea what, that, what was going through that man's head. But I am heartily glad he decided to leave. Oh, and don't thank us. Thank Alphino. He's at the House of the Fierce, patiently awaiting your gratitude. You should have seen the way he turned pale when he heard about Yugiri's plan, and how you, of all people, decided to help her. He was in such a panic, barking orders, calling for a squadron to be assembled. As were you! I was rather composed, as I recall, though that is neither here nor there. Yeah, bye, Jadalyn! Yeah, uh, Alteron mentioning, yeah, the coaching talk about the power of the Kami and the sword, but people don't connect it to him being strong in the second fight. Yeah, yeah. It's like, people are like, oh, you, you shouldn't be this strong. And it's like, why? You can believe, you can believe some other guy is strong, but you can't believe he's a strong? Like, we make fun of Gaius, but we don't, like, we, but we all agree that he was, like, oh, you know, he was a powerful person at that point in the game. We don't, like, hate on him because he was too weak, and, like, hair quotes. And I, I, no, I understand what you mean, LV. I was just, in reference to other people talking about, like, how bad he is because of this thing, I, I'm trying to say... That especially when I was mentioning a lot of people don't like Stormblood, especially this beginning part. And like I'm trying to like point out, especially with you mentioning this fight was actually pretty good and told the story very well and helped set the the village of Namai up for being a cool, cool group. And like it, it, it was necessary to tell the story and I and like despite what happens later whatever I think that I wanted to I I'm glad to mention that Elvie and I enjoyed this part at least can you believe it we faced down the crown prince himself and lived to tell the tale you have no idea what this means for us Everyone's talking about getting more weapons and armor, and, and we're not going to stop until we've taken back our homeland. Ah, uh, right. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we? We've got wounded to tend to first. We should get back to the village. What? Oh, oh, someone's fighting that, that weasel up there. I was like, what is that squelching sound I'm hearing? He says, Enamai? Yes, he is. I, and, uh, yeah, uh, LV is mentioning, I'm in a weird spot where I don't think it's a bad story. Or that Xenos is that bad of a character. I'm just tired of fighting him over and over. And, and yeah, and he really does have a huge giant hate boner for Wall. And it's, like, really creepy. And, like, we don't, we don't want to like him. <laughs> and I, I'm sure that many people don't like him for these reasons, but... The fact that he, like we were saying, he he's not a bad character. He's one of those, what was it? I love to hate him. I, I want to beat him up. I want him to get defeated. And like the fact that, oh no, I wanted to defeat him, but I couldn't immediately. That means that this is a bad game and that the story is forcing me to lose. And it's just like, have you ever played a Final Fantasy game? Literally ever! Like, really? How are you feeling? After fighting that demon, I can only imagine. I suppose I ought to apologize to you for... You know. Anyway, uh, thank you for not giving up on us. Shinobi, too. 
<laughs> Go away, Xenos. I'm done. I don't want to fight you anymore. Xenos can be obsessed with Colossa. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take all of the hate boner onto me, and you guys can ignore him. And well, no. How are you feeling, my lady? I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I'm happy to be the main character and take that bullshit crap away from you guys. Gosh darn it! Nah! This is my life. Anyway, let's continue with the Namai Maiden. Jeez. Much the better for my comrade's ministrations and your most generous hospitality. <laughs> you need not worry. Sorry, Helvin. <laughs> Shut, Shut up, Helvin! <laughs> Good. If there is anything else we can do for the two of you, anything at all, just ask. Stare any harder and you're like to burn a hole in them. Go and say your piece, for goodness sake. Oh, you say he's being shy. This cute tiny boy. I've got nothing more to say to them. I'm going to find out how the others are getting on. <laughs> it's not like I like them or anything, b b b b baka <laughs> Go Setsu so confused. <laughs> Gosetsu, Mistress Alize, I owe you an apology. I acted with reckless disregard for my own safety and endangered I know not how many others in so doing. Yeah, I, Alteron clipped it. Thanks, Alteron. <laughs> I'm so angry at you guys. <laughs> I love you. Scorning your wise counsel, I knowingly defied our master's wishes. And left you no choice but to follow suit. Nonsense. I followed our master's wishes to the letter. Consider once more his words and the intent therein. Yeah, Issei went to tell them, which meant that they wanted to fight. In offering his head, he but sought to shield his people from harm, loyal retainers included. <gasps> you must value your life more highly, Shadow Walker. Oh. Kian loves you too, you kitty. On the other hand, your recklessness did serve as an inspiration to many. Mayhap you should not be so hard on yourself. In any event, if you must apologize profusely, it seems only right that you expend as much effort thanking the one person who supported your plan from the first. <gasps> That it does. There are no words which will suffice. But thank you. You're welcome. I liked punching him. It, it hurt though. <coughs> oh God. And there they are. Lise, Alphano. Well be praised. When I learned of your rather questionable plot to assassinate Xenos, I feared we would need to recruit a new primal slayer. Alpha no, please, don't even. You're gonna have to like hire like Elvi or something, and they don't want it. We just established that they don't want any part of this. I'm sorry we couldn't be there. Alize made me swear to stay behind no matter what. I think she was worried I'd hurl myself at Xenos the moment I set eyes on him. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll forgive me for changing the subject, but now would seem a good time to discuss where we go from here. Though the Empire has yet to retaliate, the fact remains that we have revealed our presence and signaled our intentions in so doing. It is only a matter of time before the Imperials move against us. Well, then what do we do? 
given that we lack the strength to oppose them, tis plain some manner of brilliant stratagem is required. Therefore, I yield the floor to the preeminent tactician of our time, with whom I was privileged to share a room. I love when she mentioned this. Uh, the the first thing I immediately thought of was her just punching him <laughs> as, as a feat. I've heard of I've heard of twins actually fighting in the womb before, so I was just like, you know, Alice probably would totally beat up her little bro. Actually, he is like a few minutes older, so. She was probably beating up her big brother. Yeah. She does refer to him as Nichan in Japanese. So there you go. Temple tap. If you insist. While in Kagane, we debated a number of approaches and were eventually forced to concede that we cannot look to the Alliance for aid. Absolutely not. The, the whole reason we were doing this whole Doman thing was to make sure that the Alliance was able to do, like, like work on Alamigo while we did here. Even were it possible to ferry sufficient forces and materiel from Eorzea in a timely manner, such a massive undertaking would not long escape the attention of the Empire would be a miracle if our ships reached the shore. Absolutely not. Fortunately, according to Tataru and Hancock's intelligence, the Empire has withdrawn most of its forces from Doma in the past year, leaving her relatively unguarded. That being the case, a popular uprising spearheaded by the full might of the Doman Liberation Front may feasibly be sufficient to threaten the seat of provincial government, namely Doma Castle. It would be rather easier said than done, of course, but I have seen worse plans prevail. And now that the people of Namai have risen up, that is literally the answer that Hien wanted from Yugiri. Then we must needs meet with Lord Hien and convince him to return, for there is no surer way to inspire our people to rise up as one. Yeah, that, that's exactly what we need to do. He desired proof of his subject's conviction, and they have provided it through no less a deed than openly opposing Xenos himself. And then saying we're gonna, we would rather die than live as dogs, blah, 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 blah. It will work. It has to work. And next time, we will defeat him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we get to talk with everyone. I will be traveling to the Azim Step, Kalosa. I found Lord Hien once before, and I am confident that I can do so again. Moreover, it was to me whom he put the question of Doma's re-resolve. I feel it my duty to deliver him our people's reply. A countryman's deeds speak for themselves. Lord Hien cannot deny the truth of their hearts. Too long has it been since I looked upon his face. It would be of great comfort to see him again, and small, no small comfort to, if you were to join us in the search, I should add. I wonder what kind of man he is. From what I heard, he's about the same age as me. And then there's Fordola, who isn't a whole lot younger than us both. Like her, he was born and raised in an imperial province. This is all he's ever known. But unlike her, he chose to do something about it. I want to meet him. I want to know why. Maybe if I understand that, it'll help me to understand a lot of other things. Hmm. Yes, Elvi knows the Azim. Uh, I know, I know it's Azim Step, but I always love to call him the Azim Steppies and then make everyone angry at me. So you'll most likely get to hear it a few more times. And Elvi just was mentioning Steppies. In the meantime, how shall I occupy myself? 
The beloved king returning to urge his countrymen to rise up in rebellion. Not a story you'd ever hear in Charlien or Ulda, is it? Not in those words, perhaps, but no land's people is so cynical to be wholly immune to inspiration. Singular individuals have the power to move hearts and minds no matter where they go. Hmm, mm-hmm. Doubtless you speak from personal experience. <laughs> Alvino looks to Colosa and immediately starts flailing. As much as this Lord Hian intrigues us, Colosa, there are vital tasks to be tended to here. Preparations for the inevitable assault on Doma Castle, for one. But there is also the matter of coordinating our efforts in the Confederacy and our comrades in Kugane, dealing with this troublesome etherite. I could go on, but you understand. The bees grab them. Yes! That is a reference to my own meme that I made way long ago from a video game from way back when, and no one will ever get it. So there you go. Hi, so it goes. We all have our responsibilities. We shall depart for the Azim step at once. You will be joining us, Colosa. Of course! For our part, we shall do what we can to aid the Dome and Liberation Front in your absence. We will refrain from conducting any large-scale operations in your absence and instead devote our energies to bolstering our ranks and training our new recruits. When you return, we will be ready for war. If anything happens, if you need us to come back sooner, you'd better contact us. Noble sacrifices are our last resort, remember? Mm-hmm. Follow me, my friends. We have many months to travel before we reach the Union. Reunion, huh? Wait! Don't leave yet! You say? Here, take these for the road. It's simple fare, but it's the least we could do for you after what you did for us. It may be stupid and naive of me to say this, but I will. Mm. When you come back, we'll finish what we started. We'll beat the Imperials and we'll win our freedom. So, don't keep us waiting too long. Of course! Let's do this! Leave it to me! Yeah! Meanwhile, in the keep of Doma Castle. Dun, dun, uh... I would expect no less of Bahamut's conqueror. Prepare the airship. His radiance will not object. We have fulfilled our obligations here. I would see this prize for myself. A prize? <gasps> da da! What could that be? See you. Do you understand why I appointed you to act in my stead? You, whose only accomplishment was to whisper the right words in the right ear. <laughs> because of your petty hatreds, they render you the perfect instrument to bleed your kinsmen of hope, to make an example of Doma, such as was ordered. Listen well. If you yield Doma to the rebels, you will not be given another chance to beg forgiveness. Oh no. Do your duty now. Die with the rest of them. Oh, are you all right, my lady? 
That was uncalled for. Oh. Wow, what a slap. They say your Eorzean is helping the rebels. I want her dead. I want her friends dead. I want the heads of everyone she knows and loves mounted on the castle walls. You mean... You mean I can finally go after her? <laughs> I've been waiting for this chance. I promise you, my lady, she won't escape this time. Not this time, oh no. Meanwhile, in the fringes of Girabania. <gasps> What's this weird hole? And who's this mysterious armor? This is the place. Who's this mysterious armored guy with a familiar voice actor? When his shade was banished, you swore to leave this life behind. And yet here you are. Yet, if this be the work of the eyes, what choice do you have but to end it? <laughs> or shall the boy would say, damn you, Alphano. Wow, Astinian, can you speak a little louder? Anyway, he's talking about the, uh, he's talking about the eyes. So this hole had, had some of the ether from the eyes that summoned Shinryu. Oh, thinking about Alpha No made him smile. What a sweetheart. Hey, you've completed Stormblood Part 1, exiting New Game Plus mode. In fact, I was kind of hoping this would happen because, number one, I had a massive headache probably because i was slightly dehydrated but also partially because uh, i don't know a kid coughed on me yesterday so i might uh, yeah I'm, I'm doing the i'm doing the like mas o menos thing yeah i'm okay i'm okay but i should probably cut it short number two i was telling you i wanted to do ninja stuff i could finally do ninja stuff so, I'm planning Tuesday, I'm planning Tuesday to do, what was it, um, Rogue, what was it, where are you, Rogue and Ninja, so Tuesday is going to be Rogue and Ninja, and then, um, I guess I, I was kind of hoping, unfortunately, this part of this stuff is going to take place on the steps, so I can't do Heaven's Word and Stormblood at the same time. Um, who knows? I might, I might do Ninja, just Heaven's Word on Friday. Who knows? That's probably a good idea. So, there you go. That's probably what I'm going to be en end up doing. So, Rogue and Ninja on, um, on Tuesday. Be there, be square. Uh, maybe Friday, Ninja, Heaven, Heaven's Word Ninja, and then maybe, I don't know, we'll do Chichale, uh, Heaven's Word Summoner, I don't know, we'll see what we want to decide there, and then next week, we're gonna start up Stormblood Part, part 2, woo, also, yeah, uh, uh, it was Estinkian, I apologize, I forgot, it's, and also, the LV. It's too bad I don't like Xenos. Otherwise, I could say Xenos. Yay, Galvis. But psh, I don't like him, so we're not going to say yay. Woo! So we're going to end a little early here. Let's go. Let's go hang out on the benches where uh, at, in the little town square. 
And then we'll just, and then, and then I'm gonna take a break. Also, look, look, look! These are the persimmons! Uh, yeah, it's very cute. They, they, they got them sun, they got them drying out in the sun. It's so cute. Yeah, here we go. Here's the, here's the little, the little chairs. I'm gonna take a little break. Can I sit on these? I can. Thank goodness. All right. So, find out about Hien. I was honestly, I was like, I actually was looking up like on um, right during that cutscene. I was like, okay, when does this finish? When does part two? When does part one start? When does it finish? I was like, uh, where is it? Uh. So yeah, we'll see what happens there. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you guys for coming around. See you guys another time. Thank you for coming. Have a good one. Bye-bye.